Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hello everybody, Blue Dooley. And today we are looking at some mods on the Xbox One. Mods have finally come to console. And I don't have the new, newest, greatest, and latest Xbox, but they're still on here anyways. In fact, I actually have my screen open on the Xbox, so you can see that it, I am playing on it. It says I'm playing remotely because I have to stream it to my PC so I can record it with OBS. Alright, I'm pretty stoked. I've played around with a few things. Uh, the only problems I have encountered so far on any of the mods I'm using right now is the tire selection on uh, the Wrecker and ANK. There's so many tires, it really kind of bogs down the Xbox One when you're trying to figure out which tires you want out of like a million tires. So, let's close that. We're on page three of four right now of mods, 36 total mods. You can actually see which ones I have on on this page already. We got Max Mics, uh, ANK, Puma, which uh, allows you to put some different tires on it and equip a few things in the bed. You cannot get rid of that bed though, it's against the rules. So uh, no pulling trailers sadly with it. The IX Wrecker showed up today by Puppy Master, and it was on here. And then, yeah, the update says, turns out I had deeper issues with consoles. Fixed now. So I got this one. I got the Heavy Wrecker, which, uh, yeah, it's pretty badass. It's OP. If we go over here to the fourth page, one of the ones I was really kind of looking forward to was a tweak on the... Freightliner 114 and uh, add some more tires, uh, some better engine sounds. Really kind of stoked about that one. I thought Frog wasn't going to allow any of his mods on console, but if you've seen on the other page, his monstrosities here and his custom crawler. I have that mod on. And then, of course, for uh, giggles and shits. We got the Yerf Dog. It's kind of a cool little ride, not gonna lie. We'll go to page two, off-road trailers. That one showed up today. The uh, mods actually got dropped Tuesday. So yes, I know I'm a little behind everybody else getting these, but I had to work. So here we are. I got this off-road map. I haven't done too much on it yet. And of course I also have the uh, Z4266 off-road truck, which is an absolutely gorgeous mod. So this is what the mod menu looks like. We'll uh, back out of here and we'll go to continue. I have a couple of playthroughs on the Xbox and uh, this one I kind of got fed up with. So I started a new game. So I sold pretty much all the in-game trucks I had so I could buy the mod trucks. And we're going to check them out now, as soon as the game loads. We're in the Yerf Dog. I got the big motor in it. And this little thing just scoots. It's so much fun. But that's not what we're really here for. We're here to check out all the mods. And yes, there's an F-650 back there on triples all the way around. Frog's Crawler. I think he modeled those axles off of a poison spider rig uh, several years ago. Boy, that little go-kart kind of wobbles a bit. This is the IS Rec... Woo! Oh, cool. Inside view is pretty cool. The ISX Wrecker looks really weird from Go-Kart. I don't have the Wrecker body on it. I just wanted the bed and the huge tires. And apparently the big Wrecker freaks out when you uh, 
drive around it with the wrecker boom out. So there's the Z. I really like the modeling on this one. It looks like a game rig or a factory. Yeah. Not sure what the Peterbilt's doing there. Then here are the modded uh, the tweak trucks. The ANK, an off-road ramp trailer, and the uh, Freightliner with some bigger tires. You can't... This particular uh, mod on the Freightliner doesn't have Quasi's tires, but that ANK Puma does. It's sitting on 54s. The Wrecker's sitting on 64s, I think. But, uh... Yeah. This little go kart hauls. Get some donuts going. <laughs> I don't think the game likes that too much. So let's park here. And uh, let's get in the big record and see if we can't get it to behave. There we go. Tons of mods on this truck. I went with Matt Black and uh, painted tanks woo that was cool Restore the crane. And we'll turn off beacons because I know some people don't like those. The beacons do look good if you use them. Also on Quasi's tires. Rolls tons of coal. Ooh, we went from second to seventh. This thing's pretty much unstoppable. As I stop it. Wrecker has no F's to give about mud. Even loaded. I put the uh, cab over Ford on the rollback. Uh, three slot rollback you can put on this truck. and It'll chug through hood deep no matter what. The heavy wrecker just don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way the mods run on the Xbox One. Yeah, we're slowing it down a little. Yeah, I've seen some people complaining about crashing and stuff, but uh, I haven't crashed back to uh, the main menu of the game or to... Uh, I got this thing with the biggest lift you can put on it. Triple tires. The OP motor. Or maybe not the OP motor, but the one right underneath the OP motor. And we'll just eat it right over the guardrail. Got it a little deep there. This has the off-road Allison in it as an option, and uh, so far I kind of dig it. Just 
This might definitely be the best swamp truck so far I've played with. <coughs> Fact. Maybe we should take it to a more swampy area. There we go. <laughs> Not gonna have much suspension left by the time we get over there, but I don't know how this deep this any of this gets. Fairly deep. Throwing a fit about lockers in that muck. Didn't need to go this way. As I don't have the proving gown map, uh, I don't have the mud to really take this thing through. I just have this swamp. Which, uh... The IX don't care, man. And since we're here, we'll customize it. Power stroke, the uh, R and D. Why not? A couple of gearboxes, lots of suspension. I have it on uh, OPIX Monster, which. Uh, those springs wouldn't work at that angle, but I understand that there's, you know, certain limitations to the modeling, what you can do. Yeah, 67 OP triples by Quasi. Yeah. When you get so many tire options, that's when the, that's when the Xbox really struggles. Can't comment on the, or, uh, this, I have the Xbox one. I can't comment on the new one. Or any of the PlayStations. And of course, on your, if you're playing on PC, you're just going to laugh at me. Like, PC doesn't have any of those problems because PC Master Race. Yeah. The tire section is where the Xbox One bogs down a little. Which, as many tires as uh, this truck has, I. <laughs> I think it's more a limitation that the game wasn't really expecting to have so many options. I mean, we haven't we haven't even got back to the 64s yet. The true duels. Bug tires will cause bugs. Singles up front, dual in the rear. Squishy. Squishy tires are cool. I just like the look of the monster tires. <coughs> and then it slows down a little bit. Closing. Truck so tall it's out of frame. And yeah, anytime they really add a lot of options under the drop down, that's when it kind of bogs down a little bit. There's the 
750 bed. And of course, flatbed. The International's box on there. Cargo box. With supplies, even. I didn't notice that. The dump box. The dump box. The model looks good, but uh, the chassis and tires don't line up right for it. The bed needs to be a little shorter. Long bed. Long bed with supplies. Long bed with the ATV platform. The roll off bed. And of course, the uh, IX Wrecker body. Which uh, squats the monster <laughs> lift a little bit. A couple of cranes. Which. Oh, OP, because it has repair. And your saddle high. Saddle low. Let's put the. Yeah, we'll put the roll back on it. Just for fun. And we still keep our uh, stacks. Part doesn't work. And we're hauling. So I suppose the question is with that big a tire, can you still use the roll off bed? The animation's nice and smooth. Hey! It's, uh, uh. Let's put the rock crawler on there. This has the bigger motor in it, and it. All the motors in this crawler sound good. The bed kind of glitched away for a minute. driven up on the bed, but I haven't tried to pull something on the bed, so yeah, I left the motor running. Good job. Catch winch. Alright, where's my winch? Huh. Because there's a squazillion uh, winch points, we'll drive the buggy on. Oops. Wrong button. Someone's at the door. Either this is very soft suspension or that rock collar is heavy as heck. <laughs> it's a big motor. You pull a wheelie. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was awesome.
I have no idea where I'm going right now. I'm just heading this way. Alright, with the OP engine, this thing just doesn't care about mine. And that auto works pretty good. We held fifth all the way through there. Guess we should unpack that or we're not going anywhere. This doesn't have a lot of customization. You can change the tires and the suspension. You can either have it sit low or sit high. But it has active suspension. Both of them are active, so it doesn't matter which one you put on it. Diff lock. Of course, all wheel drive, always on. I know there's some good crawling areas around here, but I haven't played on this map so long I don't remember where they are. garage. I'll check out the customization of this. Like I said, only a couple of engines. <coughs> a couple of gearboxes. Suspension. You get low or high and they're both active. 46 inch tires. I think the generics look good. Generics with spikes and 49 inch assassinators. Stock winch, only one rim choice, no interior or exterior. So let's jump in the Z. And change time again. This truck, I just... There's not a lot of customization. You get some tire choices. In the interior. Of course, the only card you need is the Ace of Spades. And the Hula Girl. Yeah, the uh, footprints in here. Kind of a sparse looking cab, but. Yeah, the gauges work. And that light bar burns like crazy, so we'll turn that off. Don't slide.
I apologize. I've got my camera set for where I like it to play it. Not necessarily best for streaming. Okay. Winch. This one doesn't have a crazy OP winch, so. Just drive it on there since it doesn't have a centered uh, go point. And apparently, I can clip through some things. Oh, no, they're very straight. The cool thing about this truck, though, is you can, the tire selections act like uh, if it had central air. So these are a little flat because I have them on soft. So it's like you aired the truck down. I've driven this truck a little bit. It is nice and smooth. The modeling's nice. Not a ton of customization allowed on it, but uh, it's just a really great looking truck. I have went on all the mods I have used. I have went and given them good karma. That's mod.io's. You don't have likes. It has good karma. But. As, as you can see, I haven't had any performance problems except when it comes to the tire selection on the vehicles with lots of tires. <clears throat> All wheel drive's always on. The transmission seems to work pretty good. Auto by itself. There, slow it down a little. A little hold high. Probably. Mm, yeah, let's let's go get this thing in some mud. Actually it does sound really over there. Uh, oh, I missed their uh, grill. <laughs> I like that you can turn off the guy's hands so you don't have crazy hands now. Yeah, definitely got the crawler uncentered on there. Speedometer works, tack works. We haven't put it in diff lock yet. As cool as the wreckers are, man, this this model does it. It I really think this could have been base game truck with the way it looks and handles. I'm really kind of hoping that uh, Jay Boosted's mods get uh, approved for console use here shortly as uh, 
a couple of his tweak trucks I really want, especially the International Paystar. I think he did a really good job on it. On a video I saw showcasing it. Yeah, this, this truck runs really smooth. Nothing flashy, just slow, steady, spa good, steady pace, like uh, a little better than a stock game truck. But right, let's unpack that. Change to this. We will recover. The map. Jump back in here. And we'll recover to the garage with this truck. Engine. Three engines. High range and off road. That's all right. Stock suspension works good. Tires. All he gets off road and chained. And that's. A okay with me. I don't think you need anything, but the uh, these are the normal tires, and then the S is for soft. <coughs> Excuse me. And it just kind of depends on which ones you like the look of. I like the looks of this. These ones really good. And of course, chained, firm, and chains off. Normal. Winches. You throw spare wheels on it. That one must be over there. Yeah. Default snorkel. That's all you get. Fuel tank. Saddle high. Saddle low. Put the crane on it. Slide bed and a cargo bed. Upgrade, rear bumper, you have it down or up. Or none at all, because I don't have one installed. Front bumper, stock. Flasher light grill orange. I wonder if that's what you need to turn on the lights. Big kit, small tool kit. Only one ring. Lots of colors. I like how it just looks dirty no matter what color you paint it. <laughs> Oops. Let's get in there. Jump in the A and K. Come on. Oh, I bet because it's on a trailer. Yep. I don't have the big engine in the Freightliner. It has uh, this playthrough is at level 20 and you need to be level 22 for the bigger engine. Quad horns. Let's uh, activate those ramps and we'll try out the... Uh, off-road trailer, because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> we also added a couple of different light bar options. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, mainly just tweak the power added some tire options and that really makes a huge improvement on this truck I think let's take it up here through the mud and we'll watch the trailer as this is one of them trailers that usually gets hung up quite a bit but it's tweaked So 
hopefully it won't get hung up as much as the stock trailer. Well, I haven't loaded anything straight on anything today yet. Still just doesn't like to go. Quenching still terrible. Besides the tire selection, the roof rack, you get a few more bumper actions with the ANKA. I just like the way it sounds. It sounds like it's got an angry two stroke in it. Another nitpicky point, the truck wouldn't pull itself out, it would just pull the tree right to it. <laughs> or it would pull them pull the telephone poles down. Come on, freight shaker. You can do it. Let's hope the A and K doesn't fall off the trailer sideways. Option that's, I think that's the aftermarket or the mod engine. A couple extra gearboxes, uh, two more suspension options, rock crawler tune custom, and again, we're gonna bog the Xbox One down with all the tires. A lot of tires. Yeah. Battery powered heavy duty winch. That's what we needed. Spare wheel. Okay, this is where the mod kind of is a little strange. Because you can't. Uh, take that bed off it's part of the model I guess of the ANK so to fit other things on it you just have to just stick it on the side through the sideboard and this flat bed is free and you do have to have it installed I found out the hard way to pack cargo if you don't have this installed you can't auto load cargo on the truck and you can't pack it if you load it with a crane. <laughs> it's like, that's really weird. So then I messed around with the truck, put the flatbed back on, and it worked like it's supposed to. So if you want to haul cargo, you have to have the flatbed on it. You can do the van body add-on, which actually tucks in there pretty good. The maintenance frame, I mean, it doesn't look too bad either hanging out there. 
It's a little maintainer. Looks like you threw a little ice fishing shed in the back of the truck. Front side. Snaps. Several more bumpers. Lights. I put the roof rack on there, and the roof rack has fog lights on there. Has this expensive muzzle, and then this cheaper muzzle. And I'm not sure what the difference is. Oh, look, it's dark again. No, it's not. I said the A and K. I just like the way it sounds. And now they can put some bigger tires on it. Another little gripe. If it's got enough horsepower to spin the wheels like this, it should be flying through the mud. You shouldn't have to put it in low to go through mud. Maybe we can... Nope. By golly, it won't stall. <laughs> Fling mud. <laughs> That's awesome. I haven't tried that before. Yeah, the mud physics in the game are a little wonky sometimes. It's not super overpowered. I mean, that's... That'll show you how freaking huge that wrecker is, though. Okay. Up, not down. Let's recover them both to the garage here. Customize this a little bit here. Several engine options. Let's throw the big motor in there. Prototype gearbox, eight auto gears, two low gears, fast side gear. Jack Holland suspension. Those are the same heights. <coughs> Tons of tires. I like how some of them are only a dollar. Not sure on the dual spacing though. Those should be tucked in. Like I get the mud tires being outside the frame, but the highway tires should be tucked underneath the bed. You mall crawler, come on. <laughs> All trains, the OP bug tires. See, those, those look like they fit pretty good. That's what I have. 
that on there. Let's go with those. Offline winch, stream offline winch. I like his description on his uh, extreme. You can't go to the tree, the tree will come to you. Diff lock engageable, all wheel drive. Who painted? Yeah. All right. So you can put this huge three slot box on. Tools on the rotator. A special mini crane for the sideboard. Three thought sideboard. A two slot rollback. And then the three slot rollback. Also, as I didn't show you the axle lift, but it doesn't work quite as way well as it should in real. Oh, there we go. That's the first crash I've had since the game, uh, since they dropped the mod is out. With that crash, I'm going to call it a video. Get this edited and uploaded today. As always, please click like and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, hope everyone's having a good week. Hopefully I'll see you this weekend with another video on either some mods or maybe finishing up some work on the trailer. And here's a photo of the Ford cab over on the iX Heavy Wrecker.